Hello everybody, what's up? This is Rich. This is the Opera web browser, which you can get by going to opera.com. Uh, if you're using Firefox or Internet Explorer and you want to try something different, Opera is pretty good. Uh, just to show you something real quick before I get back there. The download for Opera is only 4.6 megs. This is small. Um, if you use the Nintendo Wii gaming console system, You've probably already used Opera because I believe that's the browser it uses by default. Anyway, it's it's a uh, it's pretty cool. Go back to where I was. Okay, there's this thing in Opera called Voice, Opera Voice, specifically where you can talk to your computer, and it will obey your commands, at least in the Opera web browser. Uh, in order to do it, it says first of all you need to enable the option. So. You go to Tools, and then Preferences, and then from these tabs up here, you click Advanced, and then go all the way to the bottom to Voice. And then it'll prompt you to download a, a voice file, which you do, and it installs it just once. And then there's uh, some uh, commands in here. When you talk, it will obey you. So if we go and look at that, uh, first you have to bear in mind where it says Start Commands with Name. You have to say the word Opera first, and then... You can choose other ones. You can say browser or baby or whatever, but I'm going to say uh, stick with Opera. And then you say something. Uh, if we go back to the uh, help using the voice here, as a talking to web page, this is voice commands. Uh, let's see, select first page address. Let's see if we can find one here. It's really, okay, here we go. If I say Opera help, it will go to the index page of Opera's built-in help files. So let's try that. You press your scroll, excuse me, press your scroll lock key, and then you speak the command, in this case Opera help, and then let go, and it will go to this. Now I'm going to do this only by pressing scroll lock and speaking it. I'm not going to type anything, and I'm not going to move my mouse. Let's, let's try this out. Opera help. There it goes. I did not have to train this, by the way. Those that have used uh, voice on computers, voice recognition on computers before, you know how, you, like a dragon naturally speaking, you have to sit down and train, train, train your computer. You don't have to train your computer to your voice. It will automatically go there. Uh, now, I believe I, if I say opera back, it will go back to where I was. Opera back. Yep, and it did. Let's try forward. Opera forward. Opera back. It's working very well. Uh, let's see what else we got. Full screen, small screen. Oh, I could say next to previous. Uh, new page, reopen, increase. Oh, let's try the zoom in. See if I can. Opera zoom in. Opera zoom in. It's working good. Opera zoom out. Opera zoom normal. Now, if you happen to say something that Opera does not understand, uh, normally it will fire back with, I do not understand. So this is what happens if you do this. Opera Kermit the Frog. Sorry, I did not understand. That's exactly what Opera does if you say something it doesn't recognize. So uh, th that's basically it. It's kind of neat. I don't know if anyone's really going to have a use for this, but if you get sick of using your mouse and your keyboard, uh, you can talk to it. And it's kind of neat. It actually does work. It's just a different way of browsing. And Opera is a cool browser and it's very solid. So if you want to check it out, go to opera.com, do the little preferences thing like I showed you, and check it out. Take it easy, people. Mm -hmm.